it's time for another famous Wirt family party held by my in-laws. And this one was for Fantastic Beasts, the new Harry Potter movie, which they had a nighttime and a daytime party for. So, you know, I'm mixing footage. Hello! Welcome to the Harry Potter party. Well, come on in! And so to no one's surprise, they took months and months to make everything beautiful. And not just with costumes, but they had some of the flags made and they bought so many decorations and, well, just watch. Are you gonna do the Horcrux hunt, you think? I might. Yay! Looking around. So not only did they have honeydukes, they even made some of the candy that went into this. I mean, like, for example, the fizzing Whizbees were delicious and they made those by hand and somebody made the chocolate frogs, they glued wings onto all the Ferrero Rochers. I, I mixed up that batch of regular Jelly Bellies and Birdie Bots. And oh my gosh, Niffler bait! So Niffler. Like, I'm having a hard time recording because this stuff is so incredible just remembering it. Like, they name everything really cool. Like, for example, Mandrake Moose. That's artichoke dip. And oh my gosh, this butterbeer punch was amazing. It was like cream soda and a bunch of other stuff, but the foam was real whipped cream and marshmallow fluff. Like, oh my gosh. They even had a Kowalski's Bakery with butterbeer cupcakes and a lot of other things, and even house specialties like Hufflepuffs, Ravenclaws, Gryffindors, and Slither Rings. And they were all super delicious. And they had, oh my gosh, like, just look at this. Seriously. They had pumpkin juice, which was really good. They put it together from a recipe of a lot of other different things. And, oh, I love that fireplace. Such attention to detail. I mean, just look at this. Wax seals for every single one. Everywhere you looked, there was another fun little detail. And if you didn't get it, it probably meant you need to read the books again. <laughs> Spoilers, but Jacob and Queenie are my new OTP. Of course, they had the soundtrack from the new movie playing the whole time. Did I mention the attention to detail yet? Because, yeah, that, that kind of sums up most of what was going on here at this party. Hey, don't look at me like that. Don't you bite me now. I mean, look, they even have, like, the really fancy schmancy edition of the Tales of the Beetle Bard. Like, I kind of freaked out. I forgot that even existed. Oh, and uh, did I mention they had a giant gingerbread Hogwarts that they constructed? All by themselves. Yeah, like, behold. Hogwarts. It's not misspelled. Very much on purpose. Like, that's hand-piped railing. And they cut out all these holes, and they put lights inside the darn thing. And, and my father-in-law laid out the roof and that courtyard in gum. He's like the king of gum mosaic. Like, they've been doing gingerbread houses like this for years. And I shouldn't be surprised anymore, but every year. I mean, look at that. Oh my gosh. This castle smells minty fresh. That'll happen with a couple pounds of gum. Well, let's move on, shall we? To the dining room. Those candles, they are all hung from the ceiling, and you have to turn each of them on individually. So mad props takes a lot of work. Still very impressive, but I like it better at night. So come on over, grab a napkin, and represent your house. Man, all this food always gets me so hungry. Just just looking at it looks amazing. And a lot of this stuff is things that they serve at a lot of their other parties as well with different names, but I don't remember having the vol vents before, but they made a lot of them. Oh my gosh, that baked brie. Mm. Hello, pensive punch. I'm gonna be remembering you for a long time. Huh, looks like you need more dry ice. So I really liked this movie. It was a great new installment in the series, I thought. And I love all these characters, too. It was so great. Again, attention to detail is mind-boggling. I mean, even in the room where the kids were watching Harry Potter, they just had a great ambience. I think someone's trying to eavesdrop on the party. But even the bathroom was amazing. Company comes up and comes to me. Here I am, minding my own business, and someone thinks it's funny to throw a book at me. Aww. Now I feel the top of my head. That's horrible, Myrtle. I'm sorry. That's a Philosopher's Stone piece of soap, by the way. I may have missed some things, but I mean, you guys get the idea. 
necessary flag for any American Anglophile. Or any British America file. Those exist, right? There were even live games of Quidditch. Like, that's the next level. And as we partied late into the night, one could only wonder, are my in-laws really muggles? I don't know. I have a feeling they're not. This party was seriously magical.